Here we go now with our sixth segment, which is the first half of our, which will be the first game of our second half of the two-on-one special for Para Warner Viacom Entertainment's seventh anniversary and Chris 2003's birthday. And we're going to be playing Jeopardy 2003 for the PC next. Our last segment in this special was Game of Life, which was yesterday. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get... Okay, adjust the game so it's exactly the way you like. Normal game. Okay, so how many people out? Type in your name, player one. Player Here one, go. here's your buzz in key. All right, let's From go. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is... All right, let's get things underway, player one. All right, let's start off with a cliche from this sport for 200. Hit below the belt. Player one. What is boxing? Precisely. Precisely. Pick again. Cliche for 400. Par for the course. Player one. What is golf? Yes. Cliche from this sport, 600. Threw him a curve. Player one. Uh, what is baseball? Precisely. Pick again. Cliche, 800. No holes barred. Player one. What is wrestling? Definitely. Definitely. Cliche for a thousand. Not pulling one's weight. Player one. What is rowing? Precisely. Pick again. Swept the category. Mythological crossword clues M for 200. Touchy golden guy. Five letters. Player one. What is, who is Midas? Definitely. Mythological crossword clues M for 400. Quicksilver messenger. Seven letters. Player one. Who is Mercury? Exactly. M for 600. Hair today, snakes tomorrow. Six letters. Player one. Who is Medusa? Yes. Crossword clues M for 800. Jason pulled the wool over her eyes. Five letters. Anyone at all? Here's what we were looking for. Yeah. M for 1,000. Helen's hubby. Player three. Who is Menelaus? Definitely. I'll try name the poet for 200. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Anybody. What we were looking for was this. I'd like 76 for 200. In 1976, a separatist party led by René Levesque came to power in this Canadian province. Player one. What is Quebec? Yes. Well, let's do 76 for 400. In 1976, he appeared in Car Wash and Silver Streak and won a comedy album Grammy. Is that it? Anyone? This is what we wanted. Uh, 76 for 600. And two, the Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Um, let's do 600. Bjorn Borg won his first Wimbledon, but this American rival remained ranked number one. Player one. Um, who is John McEnroe? That no. is incorrect. What we were looking Jimmy for Connors. was this. 76 for 800. As well as Cho and Lai, Asia lost this leader, seen here. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Anyone at all? What we were looking for was this. 
Not, not take some. 76 for a thousand. Yanni Netanyahu, brother of the future prime minister, led Israel's hostage rescue at this Uganda airport. Anyone at all? Take a look. Here's the right response. Connections for 200. He's the husband shared by Connie Stevens, Liz Taylor, and Debbie Reynolds. Player three. Who is Eddie Fisher? Exactly. Connections for 400? It's the element shared by water and carbon dioxide. Player one. What is hydrogen? No, I know that it was wrong. is incorrect. Anyone? What we were looking Oxygen. for was this. Connections for 600? First name shared by composer Stravinsky, helicopter maker Sikorsky, and young Frankenstein's assistant. Player one. What is Igor? Exactly. Connections for 800. River that connects Lake Powell in Utah with the Gulf of California. Player three. What is the Colorado? Definitely. Connections for 1,000. It's the capital city shared by the Ottoman and the Byzantine empires. Player two. What is Constantinople? Exactly. Right. Let's go for name that director for 200. Platoon. Player two. Who is Oliver Stone? Yes. Name that director for 400. Star Wars. Player one. Who is George Lucas? Precisely. Pick again. Name that director for 600. Saving Private Ryan. Nobody? What we were looking for was this. Name that director for 800. Titanic. Player one. Who is James Cameron? Precisely. Pick again. Director for a thousand. The piano. Player two. Who is Jane Campion? That's who we were looking for. I'll try. Name the poet for 400. The best laid schemes, O oh mice and men, gang after glay. Nobody? Player three. Who is Sir Walter Scott? Good guess. No. Nope. But it's not what we're looking for. Nobody? Player two. Who is Robert Burns? Precisely. Uh-huh. Pick again. Name the poet for 600. In the world of mules, there are no rules. Player two. Who is Ogden Nash? Definitely. Name the poet for 800. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. Anyone at all? This is the correct question. And the final answer of about, the round. I'm not a poet. I, I met don't a know. traveler from an antique land poets. who said, two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Player two. Who is Shelley? Exactly. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. You're on a roll, player one. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. You're in last place, player, player three, three but far. you get to start things off in double jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time. Let's do mammals for 400. Seen here, it's also called the white or ice bear. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is the polar bear? Hey, you're correct. Hey, you're correct. Hubba hubba rhyme time for 400. <laughs> A non-short ballad. Player one. What is a long song? 
precisely. Pick again. Mammal for 800. Named for its short, fluffy white tail, it's the most abundant wild rabbit of the U.S. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is the cotton tail? Definitely. Uh, Pop Adams, 400. He released Earthling in 1997, 25 years after telling us of Ziggy Stardust. Player one. Who is David Bowie? Precisely. Pick again. Mammals for 1,200. This African animal has the largest mouth of any land mammal. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is a hippopotamus? That's, That's the, the critter, critter you're looking, looking for. for. <laughs> Pop albums for 800. This guitarist said, came alive for millions of new fans for. in a 1976 number one album. Player one. It was Peter Frampton. Exactly. Mammals for 1600. And two. The Daily Double. The Daily Double. No problem. Make your wager, please. Um, let's bet 5,800. They're the only truly amphibious members of the weasel family. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is, what are otters? That's the That's critter the we're looking for. That's the critter we're looking for. <laughs> Who are Pink Floyd? Exactly. Mammals for 2000. Found in Australia, it's the sole member of the family Ornithorhynchidae. Anyone at all? Player one. Um, what is the emu? That no. is incorrect. Should not have rung in. Anybody? Take a look. Duck Here's the right response. Pop out. There's no out. doubt that this album title refers to the band members' upbringing near Disneyland. Player one. What is Tragic Kingdom? Exactly. Pop album for 2000. This album by Sheryl Crow originated with weekly LA jam sessions. Player one. What is Tuesday Night Music Club? Hey, you're correct. Hubba hubba for 800. An insect embrace. Player one. Um, what is a bug? Hug? Precisely. Pick again. Hubba hubba for 1200. A large hog. Player oh! two. What is a big pig? I knew Definitely. that one. He got it too fast. Rhyme time? For 1,600. A male deer who's mired in the mud. Anyone at all? This is what we Stop wanted. Buck. Rhyme time for 2,000? Answer. Uh -oh. Could you make your wager, please? Bang it all. A person who presents you with a container for your arrows. Player two? What is a hoarder awarder? Nice try, nope. but that is incorrect. That didn't sound right. What we were looking Whatever for giver. was this. Okay. Name that famous mother for <laughs> 400. <laughs> My dad is come! Cassidy. Nobody? Here's what we were looking Cassidy for. Cassidy Lee Gifford. I'll take American history for 400. In 1836, at Washington on the Brazos, 
Texas declared its independence from this country. Player one. What is Mexico? That's it. That's it. You do know your history. You know your history. History for 800. Under the Treaty of Breda, the Dutch gave up New Netherland, which the British renamed this. Player one. What is New York? Precisely. Pick again. American history for 1200. In 1676, Nathaniel Bacon led a rebellion in this colony, capturing and burning Jamestown. Player one. What is Virginia? Definitely. American history for 1600. The Skyway to Fantasyland closed down in this California theme park in 1994, so now it's just a fantasy. Player one. What is Disneyland? Precisely. Pick again. American history for 2000. Burning times refers to the 15th through 18th century persecution of American women for this crime. Player one. What is witchcraft? That's it. Salem you do know Charles. your history. I swept that American history category. All right, name that famous mother for 800. Rumor, Scout, Tallulah Bell. Player three. Who is Demi Moore? Uh, exactly. Name that famous mother for 1,200. David, Ricky, whose real name was Eric. Player two. Who was Harriet Nelson? Hey, you're correct. Yeah, he's back on the call. Name that famous back mother the for 1600. Beatrice Elizabeth Mary, Eugenie Victoria Helena. Nobody? This is what we wanted. Fergie. Name that famous mother for 2000. Christina, Christopher, Cynthia, Kathy. Player two? Who was Joan Crawford? Yeah. Definitely. Oh. I'll try Hang world on. geography Hang for 400. Corfu is the most northerly of this country's seven main Ionian islands. Anyone at all? What we were looking for was this. Greece. World geography for 800. Lying on the east bank of the Nile, Tahrir Square is the center of this capital's downtown. Player two? What is Cairo? Hey, you're correct. Back in the World geography all. for 1200. This Algerian port's old city is dominated by the Kasbah. Player two? What is Algiers? Exactly. Look okay, at them go! World geography for 1,600. The first recorded eruption of this Sicilian volcano occurred in about 1500 BC. Player one. What is Vesuvius? Good guess. Darn it! But it's not what we're looking for. Nobody? Player two's actually gonna back off from it. What we were looking no, for Edna. was this. And the final answer of the round. The westernmost of Canada's prairie provinces, it produces most of the country's crude oil and natural gas. Player one. What is British Columbia? Good guess. No! But it's not what we're looking for. Anybody? Take a look. Here's the right response. Alberta. That's the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again. Player one, you've got the lead going into Final Jeopardy. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. Don't count yourself out, player three. It's that time, folks. Final Jeopardy. Well, we'll take a look at the category, too. then give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Famous artists. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please.
Player one, please make your wager. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. In a 15-minute long ceremony, his New York townhouse was designated a cultural landmark in 1998. Player three, your question. Basquiat? Sorry, that's no. incorrect. How much did it cost you? Too French. Player two, your question. He also came oh, up with sorry, Basquiat. Sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Player one, your question. That's correct. What did you wager? So he picked up $30,000 for 2003. And Congratulations to our winner. Player one. <laughs> Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon, won't you? Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. And we will see you in a few minutes for our seventh segment of the special. Leave a like, subscribe, and visit the store at denigames.stormv.com.